Dominic, normally we see the stepdads in a fun-loving mood coming out to their music, playing up to the crowd, but they look like they are here for a fight. Absolutely. They're weighing in at too much fun, but they're all business here tonight. And you don't need to go back, rewind, watching this on YouTube, and hear it again for yourselves. The stepdads are our NYCW Tag Team Champions, despite the fact that Killer Instinct made their way to the ring with those championship title belts after they stole them at last month's show, Rumble at the Ring, they walked right out of the building with them. They've been carrying them around, claiming themselves to be the champions for the past month. They're going to have to prove it here tonight by beating the stepdads in the center of the ring here, one, two, three, if they want to walk out and be the true NYCW Tag Team Champions. And these four men have not seen action against each other since the initial inaugural NYCW Tag Team Championship match, which was a four-way contest featuring four teams. These two were both teams in that contest. And they were the finalists in that contest. That is correct, but this is the first time that these two teams are squaring off in a two versus two format, and those things and that can change things very differently. And we've seen how dangerous Killer Instinct can be in the past getting some big victories since that match on our on one of our very first shows, our second show ever, I believe. Killer Instinct has victories over Brute Van Slyke and his, his manager, uh, Father Derek. Mike Skyros has a singles victory over Brute Van Slyke. We won't get into how exactly that came about, but the record book does not lie, and Mike Skyros hitting the ropes, not wanting any any of the big man Papa Bear Wade Kruger Skyros and Kevin Cartwright certainly are going to be looking to take this match at their own pace so as Kevin Cartwright stands in the corner I'm trying to read what has scrawled on his stomach and I believe it says selling my sweat and sweat is misspelled yes. and I am regretting now I just got new glasses after a decade of not wearing glasses and all these times I've talked about not being able to, to see well enough to read Kevin Cartwright's caveman drawings that he scrawls upon himself every show and I'm, I'm regretting the glasses at this time and now Mike Skyros still playing keep away from Papa Bear Wade Kruger here as he stays out of reach of the big man trying to tire him out trying to get the advantage throws in a couple shots Wade just walks right through him and Skyros has decided that he's had enough and Kevin Cartwright slithers into the ring Slithers is the perfect way to describe that movie. Slides in, legs first, then slides back around, making sure that he's tied up in the ropes so that Wade Kruger can't get his hands on him. Wade Kruger, mentally exhausted just from dealing with these rotten kids, if you will. Clearly very frustrated. Radley's decided that he's going to try and square off with Kevin Cartwright here. And Cartwright... 
Gonna do the same, but Skyrock gets a hand of that hair, and now both members of Killer Instinct in the ring putting the boots to the Rad Dad. Papa Bear's not feeling it. He's gonna come to break this up. He's already getting in the face of the referee. The referee distracted, and Killer Instinct still on the outside working. The ref hears the commotion and, <laughs> and yelling at them, but there's not much he can do beyond administering the 10 count, I suppose, disqualifying Killer Instinct, but I'm sure the Moonlight Sun. What is Radley, or what is Wade Kruger doing? No. Mike Skyros sees him coming and hits him with a shot, but again, Wade just walks right through it. He was thinking about some kind of dive. They cut him off, and that now double poke to the eyes. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to try for a double suplex on the floor here. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. And they connect. Wade Kruger goes up and over on that double suplex, and he's down on the hardwood floor here at Accelerate Sports. And this is Killer Instinct's opportunity, I have to imagine. And at least for the time being, this is effectively a handicap match as Wade Kruger tries to recover from that devastating vertical suplex onto the floor, that double team by Killer Instinct. And now they're going to go to work on Bradley Belmont here. Cartwright holding the arm. Skyros puts the boot to the shoulder as he comes in the ring. Now taunting Radley Belmont. Reminding him he doesn't have a partner at the moment. Radley Belmont's in a bad situation here. It's Mike Skyros picking over, choking him with that, that boot. Holding him down in the corner and there's not much he can do about it. This would be the perfect time for him to make a tag, but unfortunately, Wade Kruger indisposed on the outside. Just a one count. Randy Belmont able to get the shoulder up. Mike Skyros holding on to that chin lock, hooks one of the arms. And Wade Kruger starting to stir on the outside here. It's a long crawl back to his corner, though. Randy Belmont gets up, but <laughs> Skyros grabs the hair and reintroduces him back down to that canvas. And it's a long crawl back to the corner, and how effective is Wade going to be once he gets there? I have to imagine that back is essentially shot. A little bit of R&R &R will help it heal, but for the moment, he's got to be in a lot of pain. He's trying to fire himself up, and he's back in the corner. Bradley Belmont's in no way to make a tag as of yet. Still trapped in the center of the ring by nasty Kevin Cartwright. Mike Scarrow's trying to stop the fans from getting in, getting behind Bradley Belmont. But that is impossible if you know how beloved the stepdads are here at NYCW. We saw some gross finger work by Mike McCarthy, but Kevin Cart Cartwright takes it to a whole other level as he shoves his finger down in the throat and tries to rub it into the face of Bradley Belmont. We've seen him do that a number of times before. Belmont fights him off, hits him with some stiff right jabs, backs off, tries for a boot, but Kevin Cartwright, Cartwright catches it. And sweeps out the other leg, and just like that, Bradley Belmont's back down to the canvas, unable to oh finish God. and make the tag, and a snot rocket for his trouble. Kevin Cartwright is the worst. Absolutely disgusting, this man. And hits Wade Kruger with a back elbow. Firing him up. It looks like Wade might have gotten his second win, recovered from that suplex on the floor, but he's not helping out his partner here as the ref has to try and deal with him. Both members of Killer Instinct are there putting the boots and the work to Radley Belmont. Cartwright standing on the shoulder of Radley Belmont, driving it, grinding it now into that hard canvas. He could separate that left shoulder and really drives in another big elbow. And the stepdads, they've held the titles since tag team turmoil. I believe that was last November. So we're we're looking at an eight-month title reign. And they're in a bad way. They haven't even really been able to get off the block in this match. And Skyros lifts Radley way up, holding him high in the air just by his in wrist and his shoulder. Impressive strength there. And now spitting at Wade Kruger and, and firing up, up firing up the big man, but it's only causing more 
more pain, more trouble for Radley Belmont. And Killer Instinct very clearly are in the head of Wade Kruger, and it is not helping the champs here. Radley Belmont kicking out at one, but he's still having a lot of issues with that left arm favoring it now. Valley throws a back elbow at Skyros. And Skyros holding the hair of Radley Belmont, heading with the European uppercut, sending him into the corner. Now looking, I have to imagine, make a tag to Kevin Cartwright. Make a couple tags, do a little bit of tag team work. Radley Belmont rolls out, and in comes Wade Kruger. Kruger in, runs right through the clothesline of Cartwright. And European I believe uppercut. Kevin Cartwright tagged himself in. I believe he is the legal man. Punches and chops by Papa Bear working over both members of Killer Instinct. And this is the, the stepdad's offense we're used to seeing. Wade Kruger laying in that power advantage and fighting off both of the smaller men here. Driving Kevin Cartwright on his shoulder right into Mike Skyros in the corner. Both men... Kruger Looking for that big court, splash. And he connects, squashing like, both members of KI. Like a freight train who cannot be stopped. Short arm clothesline on the cart right. Pulls him in. York rounded, spiking. Mike Skyer is right in the center of the canvas, forehead first. Cartwright's the legal man. Wade Kruger realizes it. And he goes for the cover. One, two. And Cartwright just... Two and three barely, quarters before Cartwright gets the shoulder up. Just barely able to get up there. As Wade Kruger absolutely on fire right now. Cartwright fighting out with lefts and rights to the midsection. Goes upstairs. Kruger absorbing him. And he's going to wind up for one of his own, but... Cartwright gets out of the way. Spins him around, eats a forearm. Kevin Cartwright with a knee. One, two, and double knees right to the sternum of Wade Kruger. Kruger kicks out at two. And unfortunately for Kevin Cartwright, he's a lot smaller than Papa Bear, and Papa Bear able to power out from underneath the smaller man. Still though, it seems like Killer Instinct has stopped the momentum of the previously unstoppable Wade Kruger, although as soon as I say that, he starts to fire back up. Chops and elbows, chops and elbows, clubbing for him to the side of the head, straight <laughs> right across the jaw, and comes Radley Belmont, and absolutely devastates Kevin Cartwright with a knee. And I don't even know if Wade Kruger knows that it happened. He was looking the other way, lining up Skyros. Oh, oh my God! Skyros gets absolutely planted with that Samoan driver. And Skyros rolls to his corner, and Cartwright is all by himself. Stepdad's firmly in control, and we've seen this many times before, looking for that Father's Day device. Takes the tag, makes it official. Radley Belmont, now the legal man, as he scales up to the top rope. Calls it, your crowd, it flips him over! And Kevin Cartwright landing on the back of his head, and he crawls over and gets the pin, one, two, no, Skyros breaking it up. And Skyros furious at the ending of that devastating Father's Day device, up onto the shoulders. Huge DDT to Papa Bear. Huge DDT, Skyros going over to check on his partner, drags him back over to his corner. This is smart. It's this smart. is smart, putting the boots to Papa Bear, getting him out of the ring. But can Cartwright even make the tag? He reaches over and tags in his partner's lifeless body and rolls him out of the ring. But then Radley catches him with a stutter as he was trying to send his partner out. Skyros in a bad way here. Still not as bad as Kevin Cartwright, who's still prone on the apron. Wade Kruger's down on the outside. Radley Belmont. Looking at his NYCW championship. That we're laying in the corner. And maybe he's deciding that he wants to introduce this belt to Skyros proper. Thinking and about he's been furious it. for the past month that Killer Instinct took their title belts. Even though they're not the champions. He is absolutely furious here. Skyros the crowd is egging him on. Begging him not to hit him. And he's got this mohawk, but no, he decides Looks to Looks like he's away. calmed down. 
And he wants to finish. He wants to finish this fair. It looks like he's going to put the title back. And Skyros. Certainly Skyros. So no. that. He hooks him up. Rolls him. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Small we, package. We have new tag team champions. Killer Instinct. The winners of this match and new tag team champions and Mike Skyros using the the good heart of Radley Pelmont against him. Kevin Cartwright still hasn't gotten to his feet after taking that absolutely devastating Father's Day device. But Cartwright is starting to stir. And I am Speechless. I don't believe this. And Radley Belmont. <laughs> Kevin Cartwright gloating. Mike Skyros posing over. And Radley Belmont beside himself. Looking so dejected at his empty hands. He had that title in his hands. Could have. I mean, he would have been disqualified, but he would have been walking out of here still one half of the tag team champions. I think people would have definitely agreed that it would have been just desserts for this duo, but now. Killer Instinct are our official tag team champions, and they're going to talk. This is the truth staring you right in the eyes. We've been the best tag team here since day one, and now Killer Instinct are the champions! Yeah! Yeah! And Mike Scarra stating that this team has been the best team here since day one. And now it's hard to disagree. Still, the con the conditions surrounding this, Radley Belmont saw that belt, got distracted by it, thought about using it, decided ultimately not to, and then that cost him the match as the stepdads are still ringside and still absolutely devastated that they're no longer NYCW's current or only tag team champions. Just a reminder, our 50-50 raffle tonight supports Hospice. Please get your 50-50 raffle tickets now. We'll be reading the winner at the end of intermission. I mean, I'm a little ready. What happened? Thank you, Stepdad. Thank you, Stepdad. here among the stepdads. Kruger furious with the rad dad, Radley Belmont. And it seems like the stepdads not able to take their, their first official loss here in New York Championship Wrestling as, as gracefully as some might have thought. Wade leaving Radley completely alone in the center of the ring here. Radley looks like... Looks lost. Looks lost. We'll see what the future Looking holds. out into the faces of the crowd, but not recognizing any kind faces. And they're trying to cheer him up, but that's not what he wants. He wants his championship title. Unfortunately, he lost it. 